絶対的な女王のもと円卓が守護する妖精国予言の子が現れ巡礼の鐘は鳴るフェイトグランドオーダーコスモスインザロストベルト妖精円卓領域アバロンルーフェ Hello everyone! Welcome back for some more Let's Play Fate Grand Order. Hey, guess what? Normally I edit in、uh, the openings. That, I, I, I didn't edit that in. That, that just played as soon as I started it up.、Um, they've been doing that a lot recently. You'll just start up the game, and there's animations.、Uh, one of them occurred in between. It just came out of nowhere. I just turned on to do my dailies, and it was like, surprise, here's a video. Um, cool, but also not、uh, for when they sneak up on me. I'd rather not have them sneak up on me. I'd rather know ahead of time personally.、Um, regardless, new lost spells here, baby. That means we have new story, we have new servants. The moment a planet is born, that's intriguing. I've seen that name come up a couple times. So I don't know much about the actual story.、Um, all I know is about some of the servants that are in it, but I don't even know what's up with them. So here we go. I like how the event is still going on, even though I really have done everything, right? It's been unlocked. Or is it not? I guess the event did just end. Good. Avalon Le Fay. I thought it was still going. Well, first off, what's this mission? Oh, oh, shoot! Nice! Yeah, thank you. I'm going to need all of these. I'm going to need all of them. Because we are absolutely summoning today. Nothing is stopping me. I need some of this. I mean, and I, I could wait. Because personally, I don't want.、Um, I don't. Tam. Tamlin Tristan. Tamlin Gwain. Is that the localized name for Fairy Knight, I wonder? Okay, I kind of prefer that. Because it's like. Interesting. I need Morgan, and I really want. Gawain. Wink, wink. Um, so is there new craft essences also? Let's see here. Um, let's see here. Oh my god, there's so many things. Oh, I won't even say anything about them. Well, I'm gonna start off with a 30. I could wait until there's no Tristan, uh, but I don't want to wait, so let's go. I have money if I need. I hope not. I see loading. I do see loading. Now, it could be because there's a lot of people on right now. But I'm hoping and praying that it's because something awesome is being summoned at this very moment. Let's see here. All right. New craft essence. No, it's just a knight's dignity. All right. Fair does. Fair does. Spins around and we get another craft essence. It is a code cast. Ah,、uh, I've had better. I've had better. Spins around once more. What are we getting? We are getting. Before waking. A lot of. A lot of classic characters, I'll say. Be nice if I could get another really classic character if you catch my drift. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do my. My 10 single summons because that is how I've been. Uh, I've been told by many people is a secret method. A secret method to get them. That was a little bit longer. Hello. What's happening? What is this? Is it going to be double sided? What's it going to be? No, just a. Just an Alexander because people are summoning all at once. And I, wanted, I was getting excited for nothing. Okay. Oh, the have not. Stinky man. Stinky ugly man. Stinky stupid man. Stupid, I hate you. I hope you die. Shoutouts to the fact that a lot of fate media does let him die. Better than some. Better than some when you have a character that I want to die. Alright. William Tell. 
Will he tell us to do another ten summon? Hey ho. The ruined church. Okay, okay. Elixir of love. Alright, what do we have? It's just Fargus. Mm-hmm. 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 Nope. Reality marble. I can't I can't trust the, the, the loadings because it's it's people are playing all at once. Everyone's playing, and so because of that, this servant is not gonna be one that I want to get. Right? It's just gonna be uh Lubu. Oh my god. Okay, wait, hold up. Hold up. Alright, alright, let's see. Uh this is going to be uh, Bodica. Okay. If I was, if I, if I went three for three, I'd be pretty happy. But I didn't. All right. Here we go. I saw a connecting. I see a loading. L loading. That was a bit of loading. Okay. Oh, berserker or saber? Preferably berserker. Assassin. Frickin' who? Get out of here! I want a real woman! One with massive bosom! Come on. That's a new one, at least. Gemstone shots, cool, okay. Give, give me the Mega Mommy. Buster and uh, MP charge? All right, I want big mommy, big, big, big mommy is what I want. Or smaller mommy, but still big mommy. You know what I'm saying? One of those would be nice. All right, this is going to be Lubu again. Heck yeah. I think he might be one of the few berserkers you can get from that. So that, that guess means nothing. Right, awakened will. Ooh, one more, and then we'll do some singles again. Let's see. Hello, loading. We meet again. What miraculous treat will you give us this time? Let us see. Oh, that's a servant. <gasps> that's the big mommy I wanted, at least. Yes, good. We got her. Okay, that's strong. That strong lift me up and carry me around. And the one who withstood pain. Whoa. Whoa. Interesting. Hello, Berserker. 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 Hey, double big mommy for me. I'm the good boy. Uppies, 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 uppies. Okay. Let me hear your voice. I've never heard her speak. Let me hear your dulcet tones. Please. Please. Come on. Come on. You can load. Uh, there's so many people online right now. I got double. Nice. Okay. I can't even see it from my angle. He is. I wonder if there is a a second summoning thing for when we get their true names, or if that's just not a thing with them. Um, good. I still need my five star, though. We got two of her, and that was one of my targets. My next target is uh, the, the Meta Mommy. Meta Berserker Mommy. So we'll see here, right? And if we get another... If we get a... With, if we get the other one... Tristan, then sure. 
right? Okay, let's do some of these though. But I do need Morgan. Morgan is the sister of my wife. So um, just for family ties, I, I need her, right? Uh, and again, when I, as soon as I saw her in Apocrypha the first time, I'm like, look at her. She looks like she should be, how could they not use her sick design? And I'm happy it's seemingly they are, right? So, we'll do 10 of these, then we'll go back, we'll summon more. And then if I, if I get her, I'm calling it now, and I'm going to hold on to a few for Mothman. Because Mothman, I personally don't care about in terms... I mean, I don't know anything about him. I've, he's been hyped up forever. But freaking, I don't care about him right now. He's, he's stinky, man. But he's good for the meta. So I'll get him for that, right? Um, and who knows? Maybe he will be endeared to me through the story. That's a possibility, right? That was a bit loading. I saw that. Okay. Nope. Hello? Berserker. 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 I'll also take a... Archer? <gasps> yes! Oh my god, thank you. We do it. We do it! Let's hear you. I assume you just have the same voice as Saber. I just assume. As soon as we can hear you. Oh no! Not. Spoilers. Not really. それで問題がないのなら、サーバントとして力を貸しましょう。私が女王であることはもう海洋のない事実。Alright, I am too. King Arthur's my What? What? はしんかとしての働きを期待します。それとも夫として扱ってほしいですか? That's okay. I'm good. I have someone for me already. Thank you, though, for the offer. I appreciate it. It does wonders for my, uh, for my self-worth. What's in the shop here? Um, I'll just... Oh, yeah, there's this, but I'm not wasting that on that. Um, the one thing I will say that I was... the I, I don't know if it's still gonna be here. Let's see. As soon as it loads. Do we have a new portrait? No. New thing. Hi, little dude. Uh, if we head to our... Yeah, it was this. The flashback number one, number five, Kristaria Wodeim teaser trailer. I didn't watch it, nor did I watch the thing on 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 it. I'm going to click it now. I'm going to let it play. Um, if it's good, if it's fine, we'll have it included. If not, well, it'll be skipped. Aniplex channel. I, I don't think they'd like it if I watched it, honestly. Um, maybe I'll watch it another time, but because that won't be going away, I'll just leave that, you know. I like to watch stuff that might go away, but that isn't, so we should be fine. Um, I, not that I really need much of a reminder of what's going on. Before we go, though, yeah. we have some stuff yeah, to do. For one, Noble Phantasms, we're going to need to... Uh, let's go with you. We can unlock you. Black Dog Galatine. Uh, increase buster effectiveness. Deal heavy damage to enemies. Increase max HP. Reduce skill cooldown. Ooh. That's not bad. Alright. I'm noticing chains. 
Interesting. Um, anyone else? Let's go by... Yeah, you, we got... Well, hey, you're level two now. Good for you. I Look, you get to... See, you're, you're spared some wrath over the fact that most of the stuff, you know, was what I needed. I don't think there's anyone else here who needs it. So y'all can become food for my wives. So, uh, great success. All just the same. Let's go with, uh, not by level, but by class. So, first off, you. All right. Uh, we're just going to feed you all. Why not? Use them all they can. She's <gasps> getting buffer. Yes. So I follow the artist uh, for this character on Twitter, uh, Melanie. Um, just the absolute most freaking based. You might be like, based on what? Based on the fact that I want to be crushed and destroyed. Please. Um, so yeah, let's start with some of these. I wonder if they're going to be locked. The, um, the ascensions. We'll see here. We'll start with this. All right. Best design, IMHO. That's an evening gown. I she was busting out of there. Just massive. <sighs> Can't. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. It's all right. It's just a video game. They're not real, bro. They're not real. <sighs> Are you worried that you're getting bigger and stronger? That you're 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 a muscle mommy goddess who's getting so huge that even Jesus in heaven looks at you in fear? That's fine. She's gonna be so buff. She's gonna be so buff, guys. I'm a feel I'm feeling heart palpitations right now. Oh. I've seen her final form. It's it's not my favorite. Um I think it's neat, but I think it's too much. And not in the muscle way. The muscle way is fine with me. In fact, I actually really like it. It's oh, and her name is now what it is. So it's not a spoiler for story. It her name's Barguest. I'm gonna be calling her Barguest. I don't know what a Barguest is or who, um, but we'll learn. All right, final form. It's a little too much. The Fang Clan. I don't... I don't know what that is. That does explain all the dog jokes. Foul weather. Damage cut. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I don't know anything about... about that. It's not a name that strikes me as something I know. Um, nice. Um, yeah, no, it's just, uh... And don't worry, I have I have a full inbox of of um, experience, so this isn't a problem. If you're worried about the about you know needing this for Morgan, that's not an issue. All right, show me your final art. I mean, I've seen it before, but yeah. Ooh. Ooh. You okay? Those are antenna. Oh no, she's getting bigger. Okay, there's there's stuff here we'll learn about. She 
Jeez. Okay. Sorry. I will revert you very quickly. Don't worry about that. Again, I... Oh, nice. I don't love this form. Um, I like how big it is. I think because if I've seen the sprite, it's freaking yeah, that's that's crazy. Actually, I think the sprite looks better than the art. The art looks like way too big. Uh, for now, for story purpose, right? Uh, that I mean, that's just good. But for story purpose, let us keep her, keep her in the first state for now, right? When time comes, we will ascend her, and we will learn. Now, as for. Actually, wait, does she only have, like, 8,000 attack? Are you serious? Is she actually... Oh! What? What do you mean she's not that strong? Also... She can't turn it to sunlight herself? Oh. Huh. Is she bad? I hope she's not bad. Oh, no. Well... The good news is, someone who I know isn't bad is going to be down here in the Zerkers. There she is. Yes. So first off, take some of this. Almost all the way for the one. Okay. So I don't know her gameplay style. I'll say that. Um, some people might be like, yo, why, you know, are, are you excited for her for her gameplay? And my answer is, I don't know what her gameplay is. Um, I hope it, I, I, all I know is it's good. I don't know what it is. So let's give this to her. Okay. 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 Protection of the lake. Uh, noble Phantasm gauge for single ally. Increase NP gain for all allies. Nice. Nice. We'll give that. Are we out? Because I know we're not, really. Also nice. Alright, well that's loading. I'm actually going to load up game press. Let me see here with Game Press. What's uh what what is the rankings for these new servants? What do they say? Tier list change log, let's see. Um Let's go. So Morgan tier A for five star. Really? I thought she was better than that. I thought she was a, a meta changer. Vargas is is B. And the other one, Tristan or Bavain Sith? Bavain she? I don't know how to say it. Are, no, is it is it like Banshee? Pretty much. I don't know. Um. Okay. That's okay. So then they're both B tier. I thought she was better than that. Interesting. Okay, that's fine by me. That's fine. That's not a bad thing, right? Um, but Buster looping is a thing now, right? That's the whole thing, right? Um... Never mind. It needs another servant. To, it needs other servants who aren't in the game yet, so we can't do that. Uh, what we can do is I'm gonna go, and I'm going to go to my second archive. I'm gonna go to this, and look at all these guys. That's not who we're here for. Who we're here for is, first off, the Berserker... Berserker? Do we not have Berserker ones? I don't think we do, actually. Really? Filter by... Filter... Do we have Berserker stuff? We do. Okay, we're gonna take these. Right? And then, okay. And then I still have so many more. I still have so many more. So, we'll start with that. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. 
go to Morgan. Where is she? Gotta get used to finding new faces on here. She's very smug in that art. She's extremely smug. Okay. Okay. And... Come on, let's get that limit level. Level limit. Nope. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm trying to level you up. There we go. Oh, jeez. She's, she's very, 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 very picky. Very ASCII, right? Do we have, um... Where's, where would it be under profile? I think it's under profile. Uh, Yui Ishikawa. Okay. Okay, I didn't read anything else otherwise. I was just curious. Good thing we have all these items for her. All right. Oh, okay. The red flowers is some nice color theory. From the world's end, apply guts and increase the star gather rate and critical strength and apply a state that decreases attacking decreases crit for each turn for yourself and gain C stars. Wow, that's a specific. Okay, let's do this. I thought we had the better ones. Let's see here. Let's go. Yeah, let's use some of these here. There we go. Level limit. Okay. There's so many, so many experience things just because I got the whole bunch from the progress. It's good art. I like it. Wow. Wow. It is cool she's a berserker and not a caster, honestly. I think that's super cool. And not an extra class, because it's just so easy to throw them into extra class, it feels like. Sounds good. The battlefield will be the right between Barghest's thighs. That's where I'm going. That's where I live now. Just a little guy. I'm just a little guy. Okay. Good thing we got all the QP also. Come on, we'll get you there. Ooh, baby. Nice. I could also see about, um, nice, palingenesis. Should I? Kind of want to. Kind of, well, no, let's see how she is first, right? Right, better to not put the cart before the horse. Um, skills will definitely want to be leveling your skills, right? Um, so, I don't know if I can get them all. I don't know if I can get them all. So let's take a look and see here which ones it recommends for skills for, for the order here, just so that we know for sure. Uh, I'm pulling up the website here. It recommends the first two mostly. Uh, so this one, the gauge up is 20% at max. Yes, that's pretty good. Uh, the first one increases your own gauge by uh, up to 30%. Wow. Okay, that's a lot. Oh, thank God they made it so much faster. Oh my God, it's so much faster. We might actually be able to just max her out here. Let's see. Okay. All right. So I don't think she has anything that involves... Ooh, good thing we got some of these items early, right? And yeah, we got 72 of those lures. I might as well use them. Okay. Oh, interesting. The uh, the wiki still uses the Japanese names. Uh, this says Charisma of Yearning, but in, in Japanese, apparently, it's Thirsting Charisma, which um, I'm... 
I can see why they made that change, right? I can understand. So. Oh god, rip our money. It's fine. This is, this is all for, all for a good cause. Okay. So, aerial drive is good for her. Hey, guess what we have, like, maxed out. Yeah, baby, we're gonna be using you. Honestly, her, Castoria, and, like, Muramasa, I feel might be a team that just completely destroy the game. Um, just something about thinking of all of them together, maxed out, being crazy. Uh, yeah. Frick. Right? So... Keep that going. All right, let's see here. It's a good thing we have all those, right? All right, and last one. Good stuff. We got her. All right. So I'm just thinking here. She does curse stuff. She does extra damage to humanoids. Just thinking here about what some of our other stuff is. Um, I'm wondering if there's any. I'm wondering if there's any command codes we should get for her. Right? Hmm. Hmm. It might be a good idea to get some command codes. I don't know. Let's see here. Let's just unlock one and see if there's any that we should get. Even just, even just because it's fun. And uh, you know, she's kind of the the new go-to. Saber, nah. Uh, crits, ooh, but she is crit. She does use crits quite a bit as part of her. She gets big crit rate, uh, crit star gather rate and crit strength up, right? And gain C stars, that could be good. Burn is not a thing. Demonic's not really a thing. Increase NP strength, that's very specific. Dragon, burn, C star gather rate up. She doesn't have any, uh, she doesn't have any chance of buffs decrease defense remove one defense up buff on a single enemy uh, remove one crit up you know what i'm gonna go with i'm gonna go with this on her yeah just just to give that for her sure we'll give her the one nothing else really all right well that was like what a half hour of me doing menu stuff Das video games. Um, it's time. It's time. I'm so excited. Part one, at least. Though part two is, I think, two weeks away. So, not exactly a real time gate. Well, we'll see. It might be. It might actually be, depending on how much I play. Oh, it's Avalon. We know all about Avalon. Well, hello there, you with the still unknown fate. I trust you can hear me. Or perhaps, hello again, Stargazer would be even more appropriate. <laughs> Either way, it doesn't really matter. You're here now, and I don't have to be bored out of my skull anymore. So, will you hear what I have to say? I suppose it's less what I have to say exactly than it is one of my uh, many songs the winds carry to me. This is the story of a single future, what became of an island of mystics that was reduced to the land of the Fae. Those of you without sin, take your leave now, for here you will find the Queen's bottomless castle. They accu ac accumulate like rain or ash, they disappear like snow or lies. Our hopes, lie our hopes are either upon the shelf or yet in the Queen's hands. But we need not, uh, we need only... Why can't I read this right now? We need only hold out a little longer. On the dawn of the 2000th year, the prophesied child will appear. The child who will, uh, who will bring we fey folk and humans together. The child who will save the world. Though it be too small for any other to see, the child shall be drawn to the light here as a moth to the flame. Once the child has averted catastrophe in the City of Iron and Sea of Suit, their pilgrimage shall truly begin. Chosen by the Staff of Selection. The Staff of Selection? Huh. Wait. Isn't that what Merlin uses? 
to make the sort of selection? Hmm. The savior, guarded by travelers from afar, shall reach the throne. The throne shall be claimed by a true king. Take up the bloodied crown. Let the six spells ring out like raging lightning, like a grieving flame. Let them ring out and forge a path for the true king. Let them ring out before the red calamity reaches us, before the black disaster devours us living. Though we may not be the most diligent of folks, we are yet the free descendants of the Fae. Lacking though our wishes be, all we desire is a brighter tomorrow. So, what do you think? It takes its sweet time making its point, but you get it, yes? That's just how it is with prophecies. They don't make sense when you first hear them, but once events unfold, you see exactly what they mean. In that sense, they're a lot like a curse that fixed itself to your back before you knew it was here. They're there. Well, looks like the scary lady found me. This is all I can do for now. The next time I see you will probably be after everything else is said and done. It's a shame I won't be able to help you fight. I mean, I summoned you, so you will. But I'm hugely relieved. I won't have to fear for my life. All right, then. I'll be waiting for you in the confined land. Until next time. Hmm. <laughs> I just had the weirdest dream. Just kidding. Compared to most dreams, that was fairly normal. Was that a dream? How you doing, buddy? Uh-oh. Uh, testing, testing. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Sion. The time is now 7 a.m. I'm very sorry to disturb you during uh, all during your precious, quiet, early morning hours. But I have an urgent message to relay to all of Novum Caldia's staff. There's been a change in the sixth loss belt. The emergency situation we predicted is now in progress. Please remain calm and come to the command room as soon as you are able. Oh, crap. Come on, Foo. Ooh, buddy, what's, what's, what's happening? Mashkira, like, reporting for duty. What's going on here, master? <clears throat> don't bother asking Tanner, Kira, like. He and I both just got here ourselves, so we don't just as little as you do. I don't even see my technical advisor or the captain anywhere. The only other ones here are the unflappable alchemist and... Good morning, my distinguished colleagues. I see you, uh, see by your healthy complexions that you all slept marvelously last night. Wonderful. I'd say this fulfills the first condition. Wouldn't you, Miss Sion? Yes, I think so. It's very lucky you're all in such good health right now. Let us see. We have Tanner and Master Demi Servant, the field op team. Munier, the pilot. Tomlin and Kawada, the operators. And we're like, frickin' you know, who? Octavia, Dr. Da Vinci's assistant. What? You're also new. We're just giving names to characters who didn't have them. Chin, the vehicle mechanic. Kayan, the munitions and design engineer. Elrond, the record keeper. Marcus, the Speartron engineer. And Gordolf, who was just enjoying a heaping plate of pancakes with a rather generous drizzling of honey. I see not one of you is so much as batting an eye at this dire situation. Truly, you are all seasoned veterans. This will make it so much easier to tell you what's going on. Oh, but... I don't really like where this is going, but come on, let's hear it. Just... What is going on already? Does it have something to do with that searing red light flashing more godly than I've ever seen it flash before? Is there a fire in the kitchen now or something? Oh no, nothing like that. This is only a tiny planetary crisis that will eradicate, so eradicate us all in about 24 hours if we do not stop it. Eradication, but uh, that's a much bigger deal than I was expected. Wait, what did you say, you Egyptian knee sock wearer? That sounds like a slur. I don't like that. Gordolf, like nothing of that sounds like a slur. That sounds like truly offensive. Hmm. Seems very rude to boil people down to their nationality, appearance, and or choice of apparel. True. You're not wrong. I agree with that, but please, let's not get sidetracked right now. Director Gordolf, Master, and all the other staff members are still grappling with this news. Uh, what exactly do you mean by planetary crisis? 
I'm sorry, you're right. We do not have a lot of time to spare, so I will be as forthright as I can. As you know, it has been three months since the shocking operation to eliminate Limbo. In that time, Novum Kaldi has been tuning up the storm border and devising plans of attacks for the remaining 6th and 7th Lost Belts. That said, as I have told you all before, I saw no need to infiltrate Britain, the site of the 6th Lost Belt. So, I have been focusing my efforts on the 7th Lost Belt, where the Foreign God is hiding out. Yes, I remember. You said we could leave the 6th Lost Belt to its own devices because... Uh, go on, Tanner, tell her! Because Britain doesn't have a Tree of Emptiness yet. Or any more, rather. Indeed. A Tree of Emptiness that helped establish the British Lost Belt was used to burn down the Tree of Emptiness in Olympus. As further proof, we have not observed any magical energy readings associated with the Trees of Emptiness coming from Britain since then. As such, the British Lost Belt should disappear on its own, much like the Chinese one did. Or so we thought. Right. The British Lost Belt may still be shrouded in a wall of light, but it's no longer a threat to humanity. At least, that was our understanding. Is that not the case? No, it is. We were still keeping it under observation, but we did not consider it a threat. Not until this very moment, anyway. This... Okay. Oh boy, I sure wonder what's happened. Oh no, that's the Lost Belt. That's the last one. It's just Britain. Everything else is fine. We could go to Calgary. We should destroy Calgary. This is the Paper Moon's planetary observation grid, and these are Sheba's predictions. According to this, the British Lost Belt will vanish in about 24 hours, and when it does, it will also engulf the rest of the planet like an enormous tsunami. Earth will then crumble under the very weight of its own gravity, utterly annihilating the planet. You're not talking about one of the foreign gods' pseudo-black holes. This would well and truly be the end of Earth. This will overwrite humanity's current bad ending, the bleached Earth phenomenon, with a completely dead end. What? Yeah, w why is this happening? What? That we don't know, but now that we know what will happen if it's left unchecked, we can ill afford to simply sit back and twiddle our thumbs. Da Vinci and Captain Nemo are on the storm board as we speak, getting it ready to launch. Up till now, we have been using the shadow board to infiltrate the Lost Belt via void space, but this sudden development has left us without the, need, without the time to prepare. Fortunately, we now have the storm board, which is capable of directly breaching the walls surrounding the Lost Belt. As a battleship, the Storm Border is essentially our frontline base. While well, we'll still be conducting on-site investigations in the Shadow Border, having a base where we can always resupply will be a tremendous asset. Furthermore, Trismegistus II's categorize this phenomenon as a collapse. But one could also call it a trap, or perhaps a pitfall, like you could bury an Animal Crossing and push your friends into for gags. A pitfall? then do you think Britain is going to cave in on itself? Or sink underwater? I'm afraid I can offer no definitive answer until we get there. Regardless, I suspect not even the phone god herself foresaw this turn. Oh, we're using herself now, huh? True, I guess. It's all well and good that Britain will disappear. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's strange to hear Sherlock say that. Indeed, it's only to be expected now that its tree of emptiness is effectively dead. But if that disappearance is going to engulf the entire planet... And as a matter we must investigate and ultimately resolve. After all, there'll be no feasible way to restore Earth to its pre pre bleached that's a tough thing to say, pre bleached state if there is no Earth left to restore. Okay, I'm with you, but what the hell can we do in only 24 hours? A lot, as a matter of fact. You see, that 24 hour period is in our time frame. But according to Shiba, time moves very differently within the Lost Belt. Once inside the British Lost Belt, our time, time constraint will cease to be a concern. So as long as you can resolve this phenomenon while you're there, we should be all set. That said, time is still definitely not on our side, which is why we're going to have all Caldia staff board the Storm Border and head for Britain as soon as we finish our final safety check. Then, once you arrive at its Wall of Light, you will use the Storm Border's Dimensional Piercing Drill to breach it and make your way into Britain, the Sixth Lost Belt. That's all I have to say. And as luck would have it, the Shadow Border has just arrived at the dock. I know this mission is being sprung on you very suddenly, but Da Vinci will fill you in on the details about the Storm Border. Be careful out there, everyone. I cannot wait to hear what sort of fun hijinks you get up to this time. Yeah, you're not coming? Sorry, you're right. I did say the entire staff. My bad, I, I 
did not phrase that as intended. Uh, I felt it'd be much too presumptuous to count a newcomer like myself as a member of Kaldia's staff. Please, don't worry about me. I'm just going to stay here and continue to monitor the Seventh Lost Belt. Do your best out there, Tanner. I promise I will do the same here. That said, if you all should blow this one, both I and this space will cease to exist in about 24 hours. Uh, so I'm counting on you more than ever. But I'm not all that worried. I know you'll succeed. Yeah, thanks, Sion. You hang in there, too. You just have an easy 24 hours where we're going to have weeks within Hell Britain. Dang. Hi, Nemo. Hi, Nemo. Attention all... Oh, wait, no, this is regular Nemo. <clears throat> not, not the Nemo Marine. Attention all crew members. I repeat, attention all crew members. We've arrived at the waters near the British Lost Belt two hours after departing from the Wandering Sea, just as we expected. We're currently 200 kilometers north of the Isle of Britain. The Wall of Light looks to be a dimensional rift, just like the world's end from the Sixth Singularity. Thanks to Da Vinci and the Professor's analysis, we've learned that the rift is at its thinnest at the southern side. So that is where we'll be heading, and we'll begin the dimensional boring as soon as we arrive. We expect to begin the operation in 45 minutes. All hands, remain at your posts until further notice. Roger! There you have it. We're going to begin the operation as soon as possible, without any breaks. The storm border is a big ship after all, so it can't just slip into void space like the shadow border. But what it can do is use massive propulsive force and magical energy barriers to withstand the dimensional friction that separates different worlds. Basically, big old drill. What we're going to do is fire the storm border through the wall of light like a bullet. The entry impact will be just as strong as it is for a zero sail, so make sure you're all in a calm state of mind. If you're confused, distraught, or terrified, then your soul will not be able to keep up with your body. Aw, oh, frick, but what if I just have natural anxiety? Oh, no. Yes, I'm well aware. You have that weird sensation where it feels like your head and chest are being stretched out like taffy, right? No need to worry about us, Captain. This isn't our first rodeo. I was born on a bull. More importantly, um, we do have a firm plan of action in place, yes? Because I don't even want to think about entering a lost belt without a strategy or goal. Of course we do. Don't worry, Gordy. We know exactly what it is we have to do. After all, we were always planning on going after the British Lost Belt at some point. Really? You were? But I thought the British Lost Belt was no longer a threat. At least up until today. Right you are. But nonetheless, we were indeed making plans to explore it well before now. While we only have a few bits and pieces of information to work with at the moment, we do know that Barrel Gut remains in the British Lost Belt, and that its king was able to launch an attack on Olympus's Tree of Emptiness. What's more, this king was even able to burn the very Tree of Emptiness required to sustain the Lost Belt. While it's still very unclear whether Barrel tricked them into doing so, or if they acted without with informed consent, what matters is that they possess enough power to burn a tree of emptiness single-handedly. And then there's... Rongo Minion, right? Yep, a hugely powerful spell akin to Divine Punishment that was able to reach Olympus all the way from Britain. A mystic that surpassed even Kershtaria's ideal magecraft. That was Rongo Minion, all right. It's a spell devised not by human hands, but by the inner sea of the planet itself. It would be a powerful weapon against the foreign god, which means it's something we desperately need. The planet's inner sea? What is that? Hey, don't worry, Mash. I've been in this game for five years now, and I still don't really know. Oh, that? It's basically a paradise of legend. Every mythology's got some kind of promised eternal land, right? Uh, Utopia, Garden of Eden, the land, uh, the land of the young Tirnanog, and so on. Well, uh, Britain's is called Avalon. It's supposed to be an otherworldly paradise that can't be reached by ordinary means. It's also... S okay, so it's... The, the Inner Sea is just the name for all of their collective mythology. Okay. It's also said to lie inside the planet, and it's where the souls of the stars go to sleep. Pretty much every Clock Tower mage has heard about it. Yeah, well, sorry, I did online learning for the Clock Tower during COVID, so I didn't really get the full lessons. I know I called it a legend, but that's not how the people who actually can see it think of it. There are some people out there who really might be able to get to the planet's inner sea. <laughs> the Clock Tower has even got a department for exploring it. That said, we're talking about a place that's completely outside human comprehension. 
Once you get mixed up with something like that, you're practically already lost to a world outside our own. <laughs> what are you saying, Moody Ipaza? Are you talking about the underground workshop? Or just an ordinary archaeological team with a fancy name? Really, how could anyone take them seriously after they proudly proclaim they found the Earth's belly button under the clock tap? What? Um, excuse me. You're saying under the clock tower is the entrance to the inner sea? That explains why it's there. Oh my god. I may be something of a magecraft elitist, but even I'd be too embarrassed to say something like that with a straight face. <laughs> We're quite done with our digression about the Mages Association and the clock tower's inner politics. You can read more about that in the El Malloy case files and El Malloy Adventures light novels. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> let's return to the subject at hand, shall we? Now that we know the King of the British Lost Belt controls Rongo Miniad, we need to investigate it and learn how it works. Indeed, the Rongo Miniad is the very reason we were already making plans to explore the British Lost Belt. While the circumstances have forced us to act sooner than we had hoped, we are always going to pay them a visit eventually. So then, Master's mission this time isn't just to investigate the Lost Belt. What we do, of course, also need to prevent the collapse of Trismegistus II's warning us about. I read that wrong. Well, we do, of course, also need to prevent the collapse Trismegistus II, which is how I say it. I'm sorry. When I say the two, I know it's supposed to be two, but I don't care. Warned us about securing Ranglominion is our top priority. As such, our ultimate goal for this Lost Belt is to negotiate with its king for it. You mean what? Cut a deal with this Lost Belt's king? Someone capable of basically firing into continental ballistic missiles at will? Yep, honestly, I think it's pretty reckless, even for us. I'd love to get my hands on Rango Mini and, like, you know, you know, Mommy mommy Saber comes up and we're like, can't use that one, sorry. It's not the real Rango Mini. <sighs> but between the Storm Border, the Heroic Spirit System, and the Black Barrel, I forgot we have the Black Barrel. I think we should be able to neutralize the so called present. Mm, I mean, planet level threat like the foreign god if the circumstances call for it Sion was adamant that we need a divine construct though so here we are for it or here we are well miss Sion is an atlas alchemist i've no doubt she has something unique in mind please tell me we're going to modify the black barrel to shoot rango minion i will make juices let us not forget, we wouldn't have had we wouldn't have the Nautilus or the Storm Border if it weren't for her. So I, for one, am per uh, perfectly willing to go along with this plan of hers, especially if it leads us to acquiring Rongominion or something equivalent. Oh, for, don't you think you're just being a little overly optimistic here, Holmes? This could be the biggest burden we've asked Tanner to bear so far, you know. Don't worry. When it comes to bearing burdens, I have the entire weight of the Nassiverse franchise on my shoulders right now, so no worries. Um, I, I, there's definitely a lot I have to do, that's right. I only have like 30 late novels, several manga, a couple games, drama CDs, there's a lot on me, but it's okay. Because I have people who will listen. And when they listen, I get money. So it's all good. You'll have to continue this conversation later. We've almost reached the drilling point. All hands, return to your posts. Brace for space-time crossing impact. Oh, right. Sorry, Captain. Ah, oh, crap. The wall's right in front of us. Sorry for not paying closer attention, Captain. All right, I understand. I still don't like it, but at least I get the point of this mission now. Remember, Tanner, this won't be like any of the other Lost Belts we've faced so far. Negotiation requires a careful, thoughtful approach, so try to keep your reckless risk-taking to no more than 30% of your usual antics. And also, make sure you bring a croissant, at least one, okay? <clears throat> Trust me. Trust me on this. Good grief, it seems Gornoff beat me to the punch. As important as this mission may be, it should be within our... Uh, well, it should be within our ability to acquire this weapon. Fortunately, we have both knowledge and time on our side. Regardless of what sort of person we may be dealing with, as long as you take things one step at a time, we're sure to arrive at the truth eventually. Tanner, strapped in and ready. Now. Let Bargist sit on me. Good. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> just the, I have assumed the position and Nemo's like, good, he's ready. Professor, start the final safety check. Storm border, initiate zero coding. Triton engines one, two, and three are all green. Space and time difference corrections between storm border and drilling target have been calculated. Da Vinci will protect the ship's armor from the computer room while the Nemo series focus on maintaining our route. Uh, computer room just gave us the all clear, Captain. We're looking at 99.9% .9 chance of success. Ooh, I don't know about that. I play gotcha games. That's still a chance of failure. Dimensional piercing battleship storm border move out. Prepare to enter the sixth loss belt. Here we are. 2019 blank. Fey Roundtable Domain Avalon the Fey, the moment a planet is born, lost spell depth EX. Which doesn't mean extra, like it's beyond A. Apparently it means strange. Because there was an argument that I started. If it's Madness Enhancement A is actually more than EX, because EX just means like special or different. I didn't know that. I thought EX was just a level above. Um. Okay, yeah. Oh, it's just the whole island of Britain. Okay, I thought we'd be zoomed in. So, like, London's around here. And we're starting here at the opening point, huh? Oh, wow. Also, yeah, I have a ton of continue items. Hey, guess who knows that there's apparently a super difficult boss, and guess who has free revives? This guy. God, I'm in the schoolboy uniform, the little... Oh, boy. That's small and quiet. Kind of... Hmm. What feeling am I supposed to get from that? Okay. The fairies cherished freedom. The fairies guarded their love. In recompense, the children lost their world. I've seen this, all right? This thing here. I've seen it. I don't know what it is. But I've seen it for two years now. And I've also been warned about it. I don't know what it is, though, or why. Though it destroyed over and over, over and again, your uh, though it is destroyed over and again, your Britain will ever prosper. This is giving me feelings of um, Extella. Is this one of the Titans? No, maybe. Spring's surprise, summer's quarrel, autumn's joy, and winter's battle. Death piled upon death to stand eternal. Be wary and never forget. No matter how sturdy the walls, a castle's foundation never changes. As the world took new form, the roots aged, and now unseen and unfelt. The gnawing of the tiniest of insects shall bring all to ruin. Oh. Well, that's not good. Oh, was I just sleeping? Yes, you were. And I think I lost consciousness for a moment, too. What about all of you? Same here. It was a kind of dizzy feeling, I guess. Oh, and my head's still kind of spacey, too. But not Kevin spacey, thank God. I remember the captain declared we'd broken through a wall of light and then... Nothing! On a different note, why is it so dark in here now? Captain? I'm here, thanks. But it's kind of hard to talk right now. You too, Captain Nemo. But it seems I'm not the only one feeling under the weather at the moment. Oh god, is this a debuff story section? That's terrible, but why did this happen? Allow me to explain. Oh, you're fine though. That's good. Da Vinci, you're okay? Of course, as you can see, I'm the same chipper Da Vinci as always. It's all because I was synced to the border in the control room. While you were all out cold, I took care of things inside the ship and finished analyzing the outside atmosphere. So, where should I begin? Probably with why you and Nemo aren't feeling like yourselves, huh? No, that's alright. The fact that you and Miss Kira and Light are fine tells me everything I need to know. Think back to the Chinese Lost Belt. The moment we entered Britain, both Nemo and myself fell deeply under the weather. 
That must be, uh, mean no heroic spirit can function here. Or rather, no heroic spirit extracted from human history. Oh. Is that just another, another, you know, way to debuff you? Because uh, your, you know, Holmes could solve most problems on his own if he really put his mind to it. Is that what we're doing? Just, hey, yeah, we needed to write an excuse to debuff him again. Um, interesting. And that in turn tells us that human history simply does not exist here. Am I correct? Whew, I can't do that, I'm sorry. Should have known you'd figure it out fast. I just checked the spirit origin graph I transferred to the border, and it was completely shut down. There's not even a fragment of the base needed for heroic spirits from proper human history to exist here. The Chinese Lost Belt's history had no need for heroic spirits, but I'm guessing heroic spirits simply don't exist in this Lost Belt's history. That's why heroic spirits from proper human history like you guys can't set foot on the Isle of Britain. You're basically being attacked by the entire world since you never existed here in the first place. So there's <clears throat> essentially not enough of a foundation for heroic spirits to operate here. Take, say, Robin Hood, for example. He should be able to exist in any lost belt, right? Be so vaguely defined that it should only take a single skilled archer existing at some point, regardless of what their name might have been for him to qualify. But now you're saying that even the conditions are as vague, even conditions as uh, vague as those don't exist here in this British lost belt? You got it. That was a great example, Gordy. Well, you know, I have reached the point in my tenure as director where I've actually begun to enjoy reading the reports. I dare say I know even more about Lost Belts than Tanner does now, at least at a purely intellectual level. It's okay. According to the comments, I know nothing. At any rate, I see now. So this history never contained so much as a single skilled archer, eh? How the hell does that work? These Lost Belts have still been around for over 2,019 years, yes? Uh, how... So how could they have that much history and not a single historically significant figure? They couldn't. Lost Belts or not, any path human history takes must fit within certain definitions, or canon events, if you will, <laughs> I've seen across the Spider-Verse. Any manner of human civilization must inevitably pass through a template of particular technological milestones. It's simply not possible for an animal species to propagate itself for over 10,000 years without its culture and average quality of life meeting certain quite criteria. So are you saying that, like, how all creatures become crab, humans must eventually make the internet? And naturally, over the course of that history, people will always branch out into various different occupations. Though their names may differ, they will never be famed sword fighters, archers, spear fighters, artisans, soldiers, kings, and detectives. The lack of any such figures ever existing here must mean. Could there be no humans? An excellent insight, Mr. Tanner. Indeed, that would be the simplest explanation. But there are still other possibilities left to explore. Hmm. I have to do so later. Hang on, then why are the technical advisor at Kyrielite there seemingly unaffected? In my case, it's probably because I'm a demi-servant. I do have Galahad's spirit origin, but I'm not actually him, so... Yep. Pretty much. As for me, I'm technically a homunculus of Leonardo da Vinci, not the original, so that would explain why I'm not affected. And that said, I'm even more of a Leonardo genius than the original, so this might actually work a great- I mean, haha, <laughs> funny. Can we- can, can we upgrade- can we put more homunculus goo, like, piled onto you to make you an adult again? Is that possible? I have some extra seeds, uh, just in the archive. Can I, like, burn them down and just kind of- into you and goo. I don't want to say I want to goo you up. That doesn't sound right. But you know what I'm saying, right? I need to homunculus goo you so that you're then adult Da Vinci. So then I can goo... Okay. Then the only servants who will be of any help in this Lost Belt are you and Mash. Seriously? You mean we can't even summon new ones on sight? Since this place rejects any heroic spirits from human history, it seems real unlikely we'll be able to bolster our forces that way. If we want to increase our numbers, our only choice is to ask the people of this Lost Belt for help. But never mind that now. Can you tell us what happened over these last 30 minutes, Da Vinci? Sure. Right after this storm border punched through the Wall of Light, the whole system went kaput. Every electronic device we had on the ships sh on the on board shut down, causing the storm border to crash. 
Luckily, Nemo Engineer was able to use the last of her strength to get one Triton engine back up and running. That in turn let the storm border break away from the island's airspace to make an emergency landing in the ocean to the southwest. That's where we are now. The generators are still out of commission, so we're running on auxiliary power. So that's why it's dark in here, huh? Yeah, the situation definitely isn't great. But hey, it's not like we haven't been in tight spots before. In fact, I'd say the fact that we weren't attacked right off the bat and are able to have a leisurely chat like this makes us at least a little lucky. Oh, so we haven't been attacked. Does this mean the king of this lost belt still has yet to notice us? Can't say anything for sure yet, but I think so. Especially since we haven't set foot on the aisle yet. And the closer we get to it, the more things on the storm border stop working. But the good news is, they've only stopped, not broken. I'm guessing here, but if the storm border gets far enough away from the aisle, I think everything will start working again. I can't believe it. Can't even get close to the mysterious island, so to speak, even with the Nautilus as its base. Still, as much as the situation is making me feel like a failure, I can at least confirm that the storm border is definitely intact. So if everything starts working again once we put some distance between ourselves and the aisle, then we'll uh, know we have a secure escape route out of this lost belt. Now we just have to figure out what comes next. Does the storm border still work, Da Vinci? Unfortunately, no. We can still use it as a ship to get to shore, but I'm not... I'm sure it'd stop working if we made it to land. So we can't use the shadow border either? Did I say shadow border? Did I say storm border here? Stop making things have the same... Stop having things have the same letters. For real. ST and SH are too close. I just see S something border and my brain goes... It fills in with the one that makes sense. So we still can't use the shadow border either? Damn. Uh, what about comms then? Will those still work online? Well, they're magic based, right? Again, I can't say for sure until we try, but given how everything else is behaving, I wouldn't get your hopes up. In the worst case, we may have to rely on more primitive means of communication. How are your carrier, uh, how are your, you with carrier pigeons, Hopes? I thought it was how, how are your carrier pigeons, like he just has them already. The most interaction I've had with carrier pigeons was when I once unraveled a, uh, unraveled a trick that relied on them. Of course, I can still use them just fine. Gotcha. Guess this makes me the expert then. Don't worry, I'll handle the written correspondence side of things. Oh, one more thing. I need to tell you all how much time we have to work with. In its current state, we can keep the storm border powered for about 30 days. If we really stretch ourselves thin, thin, we can make it last for 50 days before the auxiliary power runs out. So that's our time limit. Once the mission's complete, we'll move the storm border away from Britain and restart its engines. As soon as the Triton engines are back online and generating a stable supply of magical energy, we'll break through the wall of light again, or we'll break through the wall of light and leave the British Lost Belt. And that about sums it up. Sound good to you, Director Gordolf? Right then. If the storm border can't get near land, then we only have one course of action available. Carrier Light will accompany Tanner and his bodyguard while he infiltrates the Isle of Britain. Once there, two of them will carefully investigate the area and find the cause of the future collapse observed at Colia. If circumstances allow, they will also make contact with this lost belt's king and acquire Rongo Miniot. During this operation, we expect that communication with the storm border will be limited at best. Therefore, I'm empowering the two of you to make their own calls in the field with the expectation that they will turn safe, sound, and successful within 40... Mm, no, 45 days. You're just sending Tanner and Mash? There's no way they can pull this off alone. At least send me or Chin along with them. Not that I'm eager to get myself killed, because I'm definitely not, but come on. Don't be daft, you fool. You going along would mean Kira Light needs to worry about keeping two people safe instead of one. She may be an excellent servant, but she's still only one person. If I only have one servant to work with, I'm going to make damn sure she supports Tara to the best of her ability. She also has a big gun. Uncle Goff. Don't call me uncle. Still in my twenties, damn it. Me and Gordolf are the same age. Is that clear, you two? Go on then, repeat your mission's objectives back to me. Yes, sir. My job is to assist Master as he investigates the Lost Belt in whatever way I can. Don't worry, Mash and I will give it everything we've got. Very good. Let's get this mission underway. We have only 45 days to work with, after all. Britain is a big place. Far are you? I mean, we've walked to... We've walked across America. It's actually small in comparison. I'll start by making my way for Oxford, then. Well, what are you doing, Technical Advisor? Is there a reason you're packing various items into a rucksack? You need to ask. I'm going with them, obviously. 
Didn't I say I would handle the written correspondence? So keep an eye out for my familiar, because that's how I'll be sending you letters from the field. I mean, she can fight. Say what? It's not that crazy. She can fight. That just makes sense. You're not going to be doing much in the ship anyways. Huzzah. The Mist Coast. I missed this coast. Formation restricted. Aw, oh, dang. All right, well, let's go. Mm, how did myth that does make sense? All right, do I have my permission to go with them, technical advisor? Okay, I can at least take you to the shore. Take care of them for us, Divinji. It's also a nice reference to like how the other Camelot lost belt, right? Uh, we did have a uh, Da Vinci with us, right? So it's it's it all works. I like it. It's parallels. And here we are, the Isle of Britain at last. Oh, it's so foggy out here, and it's so warm too. All right, settle down. You've already taken out five lost belts, so another strange land shouldn't be anything new to you. Well, it is, as a matter of fact, since it's my first time out on an adventure like this. Can't blame me for getting excited. Now go on, Captain. Head back to the storm border already. You're having a hard enough time as it is out here, right? It's our job to investigate this area, so you can just sit around and grit your teeth until it's your turn. Fine. I guess I don't have to worry if you're such in, in such good spirits anyways. Tanner, Mesh, don't forget to take care of Da Vinci while you're out here there on your mission. It wasn't much, but I got a brief glimpse of the place back in the command room, right before we lost consciousness. Everything east of this shore is shrouded in fog, but I did make out what looked like a city approximately 200 kilometers from here. Assuming nothing gets in your way, you three should be able to get there in about two or three days. So that's where I'd start if I were you. Well, uh, Da Vinci will probably make a vehicle for us, right? I mean, again, I have see I know the parallels. I hate to ask you to trudge through this fog, but I don't see any way of going around it if you don't have time to spare, or even if we have time to spare. Uh, we'll be careful. We know what we're doing by now. I guess that's true, isn't it? Okay, Tanner, Mash, Da Vinci, good luck out there. I can't wait to hear back from you with good news. I finished checking our equipment, Master. Our survival kits are set, and we have 90 days worth of rations. You just glowed. Great. You two can keep the food for yourselves. I don't get hungry as long as I have enough mana. Say, where's Fu? I don't see him with either of you. Well, Fu actually never got on the storm border with us this time, so... Yeah, I don't know why he basically bolted and hid from us. That's strange. Oh, uh, really? That's too bad. He's always there on your journey to restore humanity, right? That's intriguing. Why would Fu... Did Okay, I'm guessing this whole place is Avalon now, is this what I'm kind of guessing? Does he, does, is he avoiding Avalon? Is that what it is? I wonder. Man, I was looking forward to having the same experience as my grown-up self, too. Maybe Fu just doesn't like Britain or something. Oh well, nothing we can do about that now. Besides, I'm sure we'll have other chances to travel together. Absolutely. I'd love to go on an adventure with you, Holmes. Director, Gordolf, Sion, Munier. Why Munier? He really doesn't have to come along. Fu and Senpai all together. I mean, I guess Munier could. I don't know. I feel like he's... I mean, I love Munier. He's a good... He's he... Well, I don't love everything about him. But like... I don't know. What can he do? <laughs> what would he do on an adventure? Maybe we just go hang out, but... Alright then, let's get going. You said it. Next stop, a city about 200 kilometers to the east. Buckle up, guys, because we've got a long road ahead of us. Indeed we do. I can sense it as well. Hi, Tristan. Yeah. What? Huh? I can't believe it. Of all the luck, my first adventure ever and I'm already hallucinating. Then you and Master are seeing this too, Da Vinci? I thought I was so on edge that my eyes were playing tricks on me. That's definitely Tristan, all right. He's just here. Why are you all acting like it's so strange for me to be here? This is making me very sad. I mean, I will admit that this certainly wasn't the most dramatic summoning. If anything, it felt as casual and automatic as a weathercock turning in response to the wind. I'm sorry, everyone. I have a report to make. 
My round shield is pulsing with the same warmth it typically has after conducting a summoning. That's what the glow was! There was a familiar light! Okay. Well, really? So I'm not hallucinating after all? Oh, wow, you're right, his spirit origin's solid! Then it really is Sir Tristan, but how? I thought this place rejected all heroic spirits from proper human history. Hmm, I see. It sounds as though you're not upset with me, but rather that my summoning itself came as a surprise. Well, I can assure you all that I didn't answer the summon of my own volition. One moment I wasn't here, the next I was. Of course, I am a heroic spirit on humanity's side and know about you and Caldia. But aside from that, I have no clue as to what's going on either. Could someone please explain it to me? Surprise, it's Tristan. Uh, we can't summon heroic spirits, but you were still summoned, got it? Now I see. So this is a lost spelt. A hypothetical version of Britain that could normally never exist. I don't know why this lost spelt allowed me to be here any more than you do. But I suspect it has something to do with this being the Cornwall Shore. I do have close ties to this land, after all. And while its history may be different, the land itself is still the same. I think. Oh, that's right. I forgot that Sir Tristan is said to have been born in Cornwall in Southwest Britain. That must be why we were able to summon you. Or maybe the land itself needed your aid? It could also be that Tanner was nervous about exploring a mysterious new land, so he ended up summoning Sir Tristan here unconsciously. Either way, having him here with us should be a big help, and it bodes well for the future, too. Even if this Lost Belt is devoid of human heroes, we now know it's possible to summon heroic spirits from proper human history with strong ties to a given area. Maybe we'll be able to summon Sir Gawain of Orkney, or even Camelot's own King Arthur. I sure hope so. You wish to summon King Arthur here directly. I'm not so sure that's... No, you're right. That would be wonderful. And knowing him, I'm certain he'd be willing and able to help you, and we're all like, oh shoot, we gotta use the he, him. In the meantime, I will of course be happy to offer whatever meager assistance I can. Any knight of the round table would do the same. Except Agravain, as you're mostly women. Master Tanner, I know that neither of us meant for this summoning to happen, but rest assured that my bewitched bow is yours to command regardless. From here on I, Tristan, child of sadness, shall be your faithful servant. Now then, allow me to lead the way. I know this southwest corner of Britain like the back of my hand. There's a hilly area just past a few mountains not too far from here. With a little luck, we should be able to reach a high road in about two hours. Shall we, Master? Yeah, sounds good. Lead the way, bro. Okay. Allow me to sing a song along the way. I was trying to think of a funny, stupid song, but I actually couldn't. That's fine. I'm not. You don't want to hear me sing. One hour later. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Kind of walking in silence. Um, Sir Tristan, I'm very sorry to say this, but I'm pretty sure we're law. We are not lost. Now, I don't blame you for feeling like we are since you all rely on your eyes so much. I have now only opened them for the first time since coming here. But I can assure you we are indeed making progress. In fact, we've covered no less than four kilometers by now. The only downside is that we somehow haven't been able to escape this shore yet. If Sir Bedivere were here now, he'd happily say... Don't worry about it, Tristan. You just go to sleep. I'll lead the way from here. And we are lost. I knew it. Also, I doubt Bedivere will be any happier about this than we are. Yes, I suppose you're right about that. Uh, this makes me so sad. If Sir Bedivere would be straight with me, I would have been happy to play him an encouraging song. I have a feeling that only make Betty mad. <laughs> Either way, this isn't looking good. Yes, that's true. Perhaps this fog is to blame. I've been laying down bowstrings wherever we go to ensure we don't get turned around, but at some point the string trail keeps going cold, and not because someone's been cutting it. It's because I've been letting go of them myself. It's almost like I keep forgetting what I meant to do what I meant to do with it just a minute ago. <gasps> That's a lot of fog. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, let's hope that all this fog doesn't mean that we're dealing with friggin' missing attacks. Master, I'm detecting high-density magical energy signals up ahead. 
I can't tell you any more than that without analysis from the border, but... That's a black slash. They're attacking us. Get ready to engage, Tanner. Be on your guard. I don't know what we're fighting. What are we doing? What are we fighting? What are we doing? Please set Mash as a starting member. Up to four servants? Really? So we gotta use Mash. Um, and in that case, why don't we use our new one? Right? We've got Acquisition. All right. So, well, it says up to four. That means we can use more, right? Oh, yeah. Up to four beyond the ones that are there. Okay. Hey, that's good. That Those are free slots. Free slots are definitely something I want. So, let's go with... Actually, let's go with uh, level. There is no music right now, and it is very strange. We can move you, right? Yeah, okay. Okay. Sure. So we'll go with, you need this. Mash, you can use, um, well, these are all the ones that are not great per se. Uh, arts up, guts, buster up. Getting stars is actually super nice with you. And with you, we'll use the Koto strings, the spring strings, right? All right. Oh, and I guess we can give you just... You're probably not going to be used. There's like light ocean noises. How lovely. All right. Um, again, though, for now, for now, let's keep you basic and then we'll, ch we'll check your animations, right? And then we'll go back and, and change you up after. Um, mm, I'll level this up a bit. Okay. Let's go. What do we have? What do we have? I'm curious, what do we got? I want to see. Please. Come on. Came. It's brand new assets, so I understand why it's taking a while. I can take a sip of my... Whoa! Black barrel not usable. What? Interesting. What's this music? Strength up against Faye. That's not good for these two characters! Um, and your super is special attack, round, table, knights, or fey for yourself. Heavy special damage with all to all humans. That's a lot of characters. Inflict big curse and noble phantasm charge up by one. Okay. You can give yourself 50%, right? Nice. You don't really need that right now. Um... Okay, well let's let's see what roadless Camelot looks like. Actually, let's let's attack you. All right, let's see. What do you got? What does this super look like? I've not seen any of their animations. Whoa! Whoa! The sit. Are those Rongo Miniats? That's pretty cool. That did a lot of damage, huh? That did a lot of damage, huh? Did an extreme amount of damage, honestly. Chain reaction acclamation. Okay. Are you are those strange gaze? Okay. Disastrous curse. What the frick are these, man? They're spooky dooky. Alright, let's see some of your attack animations here. We're gonna go one, two, three. Alright, so you got that. You're gonna go. Okay, little spear. Slashies into absorb. Cool. Whoa, you got big mouth. 
And not like the bad TV show. Ow, okay. You're hurting a bit, so let's go with this. Big city. You got a lot of buffs there. Nice. Um, let's take this for now. And then we'll go one, two. Okay. Because stopping that, because we should have, what, four? 400%? Yeah. Frick, man. Let's do that. Okay. And then... Big up. Nice. Sh shared guilt? What? I, what? Wait, I didn't even see what happened there. Wait, so you break one and it breaks them all anyways? Uh-oh. Hey, guess who's real happy that we now have clinging? Whoa! Oh my god, that's a lot of curses. That's a lot of curses. That's not great. What is great is that we have a full combo with you. Uh, let's go one, two, three. All right, do it again. Alright, did that not kill? Okay. So we got stab, we got magic absorb, we got... That's just wrong, Ruminiad. So yeah, they, you get debuffs at least. Yo, these dudes are... This, again, reminds me of, like, how we got to friggin... We got to, um... Camelot lost spell there, and it was just like things were ridiculously tough. Giving me a bit bit of vibes of that. Alright. Wow. Already. Wow. I guess I should say, if you hear me sipping, it's me drinking um, coffee and orange juice. It's kind of my new go-to mix. I'm sorry. If you've never tried it, you have to. Are they gone? Child with furrowed brow. <laughs> oh, man. They were way stronger than I was expecting. Were those British ghosts or something? I guess we managed to drive them away since they're gone now, but it really doesn't feel like we actually beat them at all. Grieving Knight, I have to agree. Their sheer vitality was astonishing. I don't think those were ghosts at all. They were so unusual and so steeped in mystics that they almost seemed like... No, never mind that now. For the time being, I must commend you on a job well done, Master. I was concerned when you said you couldn't summon heroic spirits here in Britain, so it's a great relief to see that it's still possible to summon them temporarily for battle. Yeah, I'm glad it worked out too, though it really did leave me tired. Yep, I was watching you, and you were definitely using more magical energy than usual. So... We'll need to try and avoid fighting as much as possible, since you convert your own vitality into magical energy. Oh no. Just knight? I was expecting eggplant knight. Mash, is something wrong? The black barrel- no, the whole Ortnax. It's not working right anymore. Mash, are you okay, Mash? Well, that's not good. They had to nerf, nerf the black barrel out of the story for a bit, huh? Mash? Did something happen to them? I can sense them close by. No, wait, they're getting further away. This is not good, it's too easy to get separated in this fog. Let me call out to them. Oh, th I, I was thinking, I'm like, are the names gone because we're forgetting? Frick. What were their names again? I think they were... were... Wait, what's my name? Wait, you with the red hair, come back! You with the red hair. What was I doing again? No way. Who am I? Oh no. Oh no! Oh! 
Oh. Uh-oh. And here I thought I might arrive early. Huh? Because I took my sweet time? You can't blame me for that. These are my very first guests. It's only right to look, uh, it's only right to look best for your, uh, look, best, look your best for guests. Besides, I'd say this boy and his companions made a pretty big mistake, too. I mean, no one in their right mind would ever think to go into the nameless woods without any protection. I guess this just goes to show how brave this master of Caldia really is. Don't you think, Blanca? <laughs> Blanca-chan! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Moth. Then, am I really gonna trust these outsiders? Yes, I will. I'll trust them with all my soul. Sure, I still had my suspicions up until I saw them in person, but now I can tell. They're the real deal. As crazy as it sounds, they're dead serious about saving the world. Oh yes, I'm definitely glad I waited for them now. That's right, Blanca. It's time for me to get serious, too. Ah, seems we've got a few local fairies here. One, two, three, four. That's a couple too many for me. Fortunately, it looks like they're good-natured sorts. I'm sure they'll rescue the Caldeans. In the meantime, I think I'll make my way back for now and save our fateful encounter for another time. Good luck, Caldean lad. I suggest you start by getting familiar with Britain's ambiance. Oh, and one more very important thing. Whatever you do, don't let anyone know you're human. Oh. I mean, I know who that is, and I know who he is. So that's interesting. That's interesting. All right. Probably the last one for now. Probably at least. We'll see. Uh oh, Mash. Please tell me our bonds are strong enough we never forget her. No. No. Mash! Well, we're not forgetting her name, obviously. All right? Oh, good. You're awake. You don't seem to be injured, and I don't think your life's in any danger. But if you're hurting anywhere, please let me know. I still have a lot to learn, but I can at least perform basic first aid. You're... Mash? Okay, we do remember her. Right, that does sound like it's my name. What? That's weird. Ah, thank goodness. I was having trouble remembering who I am too. Is the joke Takeuchi same face? So my name's Mash, huh? I like it. It's short, soft, and unique. And hey, if you know my name, that must mean we really are friends. I knew it. Anyway, good morning, Lysander. Lysander? Do you know where you are right now? Where am I? Lysander? Couldn't I at least be like... Getsis or... Freaking... I'll, I'll take anyone other than Lysander. He's the worst. It's like Maxi... Archer... Like, come on. Huh? Um, your name is Lysander, right? I mean, that's what's on your name to... What? Apparently, we all collapsed in the Nameless Woods. Do you know about the Nameless Woods? The fog is so thick in there that as soon as you set foot inside, you can never find your way back. The more lost you get, the more you forget, and eventually you won't even remember your own name or who you are. Basically, it's a force to no return, one of the most dangerous fey domains in all of Britain. I wonder what it is we were doing in a place like that. Maybe something really nasty happened to us. You know, like when everyone at your table orders ginger ale, but for some reason you end up getting salt water? Why would you ever order salt water? Lysander. Lysander. Lysander, what's wrong? Why are you holding your head like that? Oh no, did you hit your head in the woods? Do you have a concussion? Or a fractured skull? No, it's nothing like that. I suspect it's simply that he doesn't know who he is. 
and not just himself. I doubt he remembers you, me, or anything else about this place. I certainly can't. The only thing I do remember is that I serve him loyally. Even now, I know I would have no qualms about laying down my life to keep him safe. You're... Ah, it's no good, I can't remember. Please, don't strain yourself, my lord. I am Isayult's best in class. <laughs> okay, Isayult, I mean, that's a reference, but best in class, that's kind of funny. No, wait, that's not right. Yes, I remember now. My name is... Tristrim. I'm sure of it. See, it's written right here in Old English, on this name tag made from a leaf. <laughs> oh, you're right, I can barely make it out, though. Indeed. We now know that you are Lysander, I am Tristram, and she is Mash. <laughs> I can say with absolute confidence that we three are trusted companions who wound up stranded together. Wow, you sold it, Tristram. Give me some skin. This is weird. Huh? What's old English? Oh, oh no. <laughs> so we don't know who we are, and we can't even remember where we came from, but we do know that there is something important we need to do, and we must have entered the Nameless Woods to accomplish it in spite of the risks. I thought we were on a shore, but maybe it was a forest? Correct. The only things we, uh, the only other things we know are that, even among my colleagues, I am a peerless genius, a master poet, and a peerless archer. I'm sorry I can't tell you more. I see, so he doesn't know anything. What about you, Mash? This is weird. Well, it's pretty much the same for me as it is for you two. I kind of feels like I lost a lot of belongings. At any rate, what I do know is that we all collapsed in the nameless woods, and then some fairies from this village found us and brought us here. So then the next question is, why did they do that? Are they slave traders? I think I've heard that's a big problem these days. Oh man, I don't even want to think about it, but if that's what this village is for, then... Wow! I... It feels like it's the early 2000s and I just entered DeviantArt. Hello, are you all awake now? Oh, I'm sorry if I startled you. Are you the trauma child for this one? Let's see. I'm sorry if I startled you. I heard voices, so... Anyway, um, the others said I should come and fetch you all. I mean, it's going to be night soon, so... You know. Do you know this person, Lysander? Nope, not at all. I see. Well, I don't sense any hostile in intentions from her. She seems to be a rather good-hearted person. Or rather, yeah, she totally looks like a fairy from, like, a fairy tale, right? Um, can you all still not move? In that case, we can talk later. Oh, but if I go back without you, everyone will scold me for being useless again. Are you talking about the other fairies from this village? Don't worry, you can go back ahead of us. We'll be right there as soon as we're done talking. We'll be sure to tell the others that you were the one who fetched us. Then I really was useful this time. Oh, those are like chippings out of her wings, huh? They're not symmetrical, so you know they're not like a pattern. That's sad. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you so much. Please come to the town square when you're ready. Everyone else is there. See you there. Well, shall we see what's outside? Yes, I guess we should. I'm still concerned, but it doesn't look like staying in here will help anything. Besides, no matter what they ask us, we can honestly say we don't remember a single thing. So at least we shouldn't be suspected of being from a bad city or supporting the wrong queen or anything like that. What, what, what? There's a distinct break in knowledge. Oh my god, look at all these furries. Animalistic furry. These are the ones that almost died in the woods. God damn, I've never seen humanoids without wings before, I swear. What's the Wind Clan coming to these days? <laughs> Please don't lump us in with the likes of them. These fairies don't even have so much as a hint of wing stumps. They must be criminals who had their wings torn off as the part of the punishment. They probably came here while trying to escape Darlington. Why are we running from Wooly? What did... What did we do? Did we eat breakfast? Oh no. <laughs> 
Just look at their turkey little limbs. The only thing they'd be good for is firewood. And maybe we ought to chop him up and make a fire out of him. <laughs> They'll battle brighten the night up. This is like a full-on dark fairy tale kind of world. Hold on. Let's see what they have to say first. That's our rule, after all. You there, what is your clan? Your names? Which city do you hail from? What is it you came here to Cornwall to es- What is it you came here to Cornwall to escape? I am- I'm afraid we really can't tell you. The only thing we know is our names. We don't know where we came from, why we came here, or what our goal was. Nothing. Are you kidding me? You don't even know what city you're from. I uh, haven't even got a goal, huh? God damn, that's awful. It's terrible. It just ain't right. And here I was hoping you'd get a, uh, we'd get a nice ransom out of them. Guess there's only one thing left to do with them now, then. Indeed, now that things have come to this. Uh, only one thing left to do. We'll just have to look after them ourselves. Hear that, everyone? We got new friends. Yay! Hee ho! Hey ho! New friends, this calls for celebration! Here, we're all a bunch of nameless, worthless fellows without any real left to love! I know it's not the, the, the. I mean, when I just see fairies, that's where it goes to, but. We've been strung up, pelted with the rocks, and before we knew we found ourselves here on the tippy tip of the island! Nobody likes us, we'll all be gone by tomorrow! Even the queen herself won't come into the nameless woods we call home! So welcome, comrades, to Cornwall, the Dead End Village. You guys have had a hard life, right? You've already suffered enough, right? If we're all just a bunch of burnouts anyway, we might as well keep back, relax, and enjoy life here. Uh... Huh? Oh boy. Welcome to Failure City, Population Us. I don't think I could eat another bite. I can't believe the party they threw to welcome us is still going into the night. These fairies are so nice. I was also surprised to see what a good conversationalist you are, Lysander. You seemed a little unsure of yourself at first, but then you started talking to fairies from both the Wind Clan and the Earth Clan without any hesitation. Even though everyone in Fairy Britain knows you're supposed to pick one to side with. Fairy Britain? Huh? You mean you forgot about that too? Really? That's going to be a problem. The Nameless Woods only make you forget yourself. You should still be able to remember the customs you need to know to survive. At least that's what I've heard. What about you, Tristan? Do you remember anything about Fairy Britain, the Land of the Fae? Uh, I guess you're in the same boat as Lysander then. All right, I'll catch you two up. I don't know what a g I don't know a great deal about the world, but I've at least been taught the basic. All right, everyone, quiet, please. It's time to end today's festivities. I know how you all feel, but there's nothing we can do about nightfall. We'll just have to resume the welcome party tomorrow. I guess just go show time flies when you're having fun. All right, everyone, let's head to our homes. Later, Lysander. Later, Mash. Later, Fay. A few words, Tristam. See that roof over there? That tent's yours. Go ahead and hide out there in the mo until morning. You there. I'm sorry. Your name is Halibaromia. Halibaromia. You there. Show Lysander and his companions to the dwelling, won't you? On fam. No, okay. Better hurry it then. No one here will just... You'll just get even more injured if you take your time. Duga. Yeah, don't get carried away and start taking him any side paths, got it? If you do that... No one will be able to find you guys once night gets here. Yes, I know. I'll be fine. Thank you for giving me this job. If you'll follow me, everyone, I'll show you back to the tent that's become your territory. What's What happens at night? What happens at night? Well, good night. Don't worry, this tent may be a ways away from the town square, but it's still well within the village. I promise you'll be able to relax and sleep without any forest animals coming in. What happens at night? She left with nothing more than a polite crusty. And we never got her name. I swear to God, if it's a, if it's um, is it Ophelia? Titania. If it's Titania. Okay, I'm sure you're both tired after talking with so many fairies, but I think we should finish our conversation from earlier before we go to sleep. Fairy Britain, as you can probably tell by the name, is the land of the Fae. You do know that much, right? I don't think I've heard any of this before, but I'll keep that to myself. Good. Then next, we have the different kinds of fairies. It would take hours going all the details to differentiate the various kinds of fairies. So for now, let's just focus on the broader clans. Uh, the clans represent the land of the fae's different races. There's the Wind Clan, the Earth Clan, the Fang Clan, uh, the Wing Clan, the Mir Clan, and the King Clan. Members of the Wing Clan, like Calibaromia, are humanoid, fairies that look just like humans, basically. They're all very rational and peaceful, and they have a lot of excellent fae markings. 
Members of the Earth Clan, like Onfim, are solid, stout, and stocky humanoids. They're the hardest working of all the clans, so we need uh, their help to make roads and buildings. Members of the Fang Clan, like Doga, oh, th so that's the clan that Bargus leads. They're basically wolves that live as one with the land. They love to fight, and they're very good at it. It's even said that we Fae folk wouldn't be here today if it weren't for the Fang Clan fighting for us. As for the Wing and Mir clans, well, there aren't many rumors about the Wing clans, so I don't know much about them. And the Mir clan used to be the most popular clan in all Fairy Britain, but then a few years ago, they disappeared along with their entire city. What about the King clan? Do you really want to know, Liss? The King clan is the biggest bunch of good-for-nothings in the land. The only thing they ever make is trouble. Even though there's only one of them left, she looks down her nose at all the other clans like she's so much better than us. I mean, who goes around bragging to a sweet, innocent country girl about how great her life is in the big city? Then there's those flamboyant clothes she wears and all those servants that are oh-so-cool plan for the future. Oh, will she just die? Okay. I see. Sorry, that may have not been entirely fair. Please just forget everything I said. The King Clan is a kind of a special case. You see, there's really only one of them, but she's also kind of a, well, a protective queen bee type who welcomes anyone who serves her as a King Clan member in their own right. Um, if you ever have the misfortune of meeting her yourself one day, Lysander, you'll, you'll see what I mean. It's obvious to pretty much everyone with eyes. Everything about her, from the way she looks, the way she acts, just screams, yikes, she's a real piece of work. I'd better not make eye contact or she'll ruin my whole life. On a different subject, are you okay, Tristan? You seemed on edge for a while now. That's because I am. No, I would, it wouldn't be a stretch to say I'm afraid. I haven't had a moment's rest since we went into the town square. The villagers may have seemed weak, even feeble to the two of you. But while I may lack my memories, I do know that they are to be feared merely by the dint of being fey folk. Even that fey girl who showed us the way to the square holds some manner of mystic. They may not have said anything about it, but they have power far beyond any human. Just remember, it'd be an easy thing for these fairies to slaughter us all if they decided to do so. Uh, how terrifying. Thought we said not- oh, well, we were only told to not- to not say that we're human. I guess you must have served in the military at some point, Tristam. I can't even imagine two fairies fighting each other. Maybe I could see it for one of the purge- no, I mean, soldiers who served the queen in her castle. But I was taught that fairies all resolve the differences through peaceful discussion, no matter what they may be. Well, I suppose there might be occasional eccentric exception to the rule. But there wasn't a single fairy at the square who disliked us. You may be right. I certainly didn't sense any hostility from them. Of course. They're not dangerous at all. They're all so peaceful, it's almost hard to believe- Huh? Hello? Forgive us. Forgive us. No more prayers. Close your eyes. There's not much fun time left. The veil has fallen. Extinguish the light. Today is ending. Farewell. This day, too, will end forever. Forgive us. Forgive us. Forgive us our sins. It's too late to do anything now, but make sure everything is cleaned up. What the frick? Looks like it's time for lights out now. Let's pack this back up to pick this back up tomorrow. I'd hate to do anything to upset them after they've been so welcoming to us. <sighs> Fine with me. How about Tristan's gonna be like, I'm gonna go for a walk. And he's gonna freaking die. Let's see, this must be it. Oh, it's one of those new glass lamps that are all the rages right now. Must have been an Earth Clan fairy or two from Norwich here. I'll have to track them down tomorrow. Anyway, good night, Lys Lysander. Good night, Tristam. You know, I was kind of worried when I first woke up, but I'm glad you two turned out to be good people. Good night, ma. Huh? Why did you stop? What's that? You just didn't feel right saying it? I see. Well, that makes sense. It must be a very important name to you. It's okay, Lysander. These things happen. Okay, good night. For real this time. Oh, there's plot. There's big plot happening. I am... Im oh, I'm just immediately pulled in, right? Just immediately, it's like, what's going on? I'm so excited. All right, guys. Sounds good. We will see you next time for some more Avalon Le Fay. The Fay Roundtable Domain Law Spelled Number 6. We'll see you then for that, guys. Ciao.